Hi everyone. A very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to Spotlight with Suman. Today my guest is uh, a lady from Delhi. Her name is Richa Mutreja. An engineer by qualification and an image consultant and a soft skills trainer by profession. She has spent about 11 years as a corporate professional and today she is following her passion by being an image consultant. So let's listen and uh, understand what Richa's journey has been all about and uh, let's invite her for the conversation. So Richa will be here shortly. Richa, you need to send in a request once again. Your request has got declined. I'm not able to add you, Richa. Maybe you can uh, send in a request once again. Okay, I've just accepted your request. So maybe you will go live shortly. Finally, finally, we get to see you, Richa. Welcome. <laughs> thank, thank you so much, ma'am. Actually, there was some connection or maybe connection problem. How are you, ma'am? Very well. How are you doing? Good, good, ma'am. Nice. I'm doing good. Great. So, is there any internet issue from your side? Not really, ma'am. Not really. Okay. All well? Yeah, yeah, ma'am. All well. So I was just introducing you to everybody, and I was just going through your profile also some time back, and I got to know that you are an engineer by profession. Yes, sir. And that is yes. instrumentation engineer, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm an instrumentation engineer. But tell me something, Richa. What really inspired you to become an image consultant and a soft skills trainer? I mean, with all that. you know the qualification that you carry with you i mean it was not really expected of, uh from somebody to actually shift make that drastic shift from being an engineer to becoming an image consultant so what is your story okay isma so, it's a it's a very common question every training almost all my clients my participants they ask that why this is a big switch from engineering to image consulting So let me tell you, ma'am. Right from the childhood, I was very much fascinated towards the people who are doing public speaking. So seeing people speaking in uh, front of public was something which was attracting me. So when I was a kid, I wanted to become an air hostess like you. And uh, then I little grew up, and I wanted to become a news reader. But the destiny was something else, and I became an engineer. So in my engineering career, ma'am, uh, I got few opportunities where I have to represent my department and give the presentation on behalf of my department, instrumentation department. So I was uh, uh, like, I can say that those were the moments, ma'am, which were quite, uh, you know, you can say the wow moments for me. 
so in 2015 ma'am uh, my daughter was 2 years and uh, i was looking for some uh, you know second career wherein i have flexibility in working hours and uh, also i was looking a job or kind of profile which is equally prestigious as an engineering okay so uh, i started exploring and i came to know about icbi and uh, i was really surprised knowing that there is a certification course which can make me a trainer so i immediately contacted our south east center and uh, i started my journey as an image consultant fantastic so what were there any dilemmas in your mind to make that kind of a drastic shift from being an engineer to becoming an image consultant ma'am i initially thought that there is something like you know it was deep down there in my heart that i want to do this either it is a news reader as i shared with you news reader or probably the aviation i wanted to do that but uh, destiny was not giving me an opportunity and when i was looking like a second career i was like quite sure ki yaar no this is something which i want to do and tell me about your life before you actually got into image consulting i mean what were you doing uh as an instrumentation engineer what was the life very exciting at that point of time or this is a better and a, and a more exciting phase so just a comparative of two lives that you have lived so far okay so um now uh, when i started my uh, engineering profile engineering job it was also a very kind of you know it was also adventurous so uh, i started with uh, working in a company where i could see uh, you know the big uh, boilers or the furnaces or the turbines so uh, those were also like kind of a thrill for me to work as an instrumentation in the field and uh, when i was working with lasan to blow i got an opportunity to work at multiple location of my own company i was based in faridabad but i also worked for uh, at bangalore location chennai location and surat location so uh, probably uh, the kind of you know the connect or that kind of uh, uh, the the characteristics of connecting with people came from my engineering profile so uh, as i i like uh, share with my uh, daughter that i can make anybody my friend in within 5 minutes and she surprises about that so uh, that was there which was building and uh, when i shift to my image consulting profession it is something again which is helping me to you know i uh, making a connect with person knowing that what do they want what is that they really uh, looking for and this is how it is helping me now a lot great so there is definitely some sort of common denominator between you being yeah. an engineer and as well as you know being an image consultant fantastic yes. so tell me i mean what kind of work are you doing during this time and has the pandemic really affected your work in some way i mean uh, going forward uh, looking at the situation looking at the lockdown situation i mean what has the work scenario been for you and what kind of work have you done you know in the past in the image consulting field okay so mom like we always say that image consultant is someone who wears a different kind of hat right so uh, when i started working as an image consultant i certified uh, and uh, i promised myself that you know i'm going to explore all type of assignments or type of trainings made with kids or maybe the corporates and the same thing i i feel lucky that i'm grateful that i got those those opportunities so i was in terms of corporate training i was i started with hospitality industry which was really different from this engineering it's completely opposite of it and i started with hospitality then i trained in oil and gas i trained in it sector then a luxury car segment those were the corporate assignments i was doing before uh, this pandemic and uh, in one on one ma'am one on one consultation again there was a variety of uh, clients so there were doctors there were lawyers uh, there were students homemakers and kids and uh, i was even working with finishing the school so uh, when this pandemic started ma'am for all of us it was really difficult and uh, april month was a month when i thought i have i had really less hope ma'am ki wapas se training i'm going to start so uh, i am thankful to one of my own client and she called me up for her new organization and she little bit pushed me for taking a uh, training session for her finishing school
Mm-hmm. So uh, I thought that, and I'm very thankful to her that she did so because after that it all started. So when it is online platform, we are uh, not really limited to uh, to our place. So there is no limitation geographically. So I started taking sessions in Delhi, and right now the one-on-ones which I have, none of them are from Delhi. So they are from Mumbai, they are from Bangalore, Chennai. Bihar and Punjab. So a wide variety of one and one. Plus, do you think the pandemic has expanded your horizon geographically? Exactly, ma'am. And it has changed. It has uh, it has brought a change which is in a positive manner. So uh, since we are not limited to our city only, so it is now uh, all over India. And recently, uh, ma'am. I uh, I thought that since it is going now online, it is going out of Delhi. Let's take it out of India also. So I tied up one uh, with one of the tutoring institute in the USA, and uh, I conducted a workshop for kids and teens. Oh wow! So yeah, <laughs> so that that is there, and there are few startups. I'm again in Mumbai and Bangalore, so I am training with them as well. so they are into engineering platform they are into uh, like corporate also so it is, this is how it is going fantastic so you are all over the place now i'm <laughs> uh, trying to <laughs> trying to expand the horizon ma'am that's it so so this also means that image consulting is a recession proof profession right <laughs> yes i am true true because being an engineer i can tell you that you know twice i have seen recession in my industry so i can say that now since in april i was thinking that you know i don't know how it is going to be started but then it it started with a very positive change with a positive energy fantastic so tell me something how safe or risky is it to make a shift from being an employee to becoming your own boss i mean you have experienced it personally in your life What was your family's reaction to this kind of a transition from uh, that phase to this phase now currently has there been any kind of resistance or they were like absolutely comfortable with your decision i mean tell me all about that Okay so ma'am when i as i said i started studying in 2015 and uh, my father my late father he was like very much resistant to this profession as in you know the lnp was a favorite company for him and uh, he was it was a proud factor for him that i'm working with lnt as in tomorrow so when i asked him he said no and uh, um, i'm very really thankful to uh, like my husband he's a great support for me that he both uh, convinced my father not only my father it was not a hasty decision for me ma'am uh, joining this image consulting course and starting my career as a trainer we thought we planned and uh, we uh took a very very calculative uh, you know move that when do we want to start training and when do we want to complete by by which year we are going to finish my image consulting course so all was there in our, our mind and uh, when you talk about this decision ma'am i always believe that uh, none it's not about taking a safer decision or a decision which is a risky decision i always believe that whatever decision one takes should be mentally prepared for that so uh, similarly i was also uh, me and my husband we both were mentally prepared that it is not going to happen overnight it will take time so even if you are making your name in the market as a trainer it will take time you have to give number of good trainings then only you will be recognized as a good trainer in the market so uh, we we uh, i had lot of uh, patience for this i had a lot of plans for this that this year i'm going to do this much this year and now also it is the same now so uh, it was not at all risky it it was a safe decision because it was a calculated one and how old is your daughter now she's 7 ma'am she's going to be 7 this month only okay so you you literally had your daughter growing up while uh, you were doing your image consulting practice right i'm um, she is also a half image consultant by now <laughs> 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 so tell me i mean how have you evolved as an individual both professionally and personally after becoming an image consultant has image consultant uh, practitioner being an image consultant practitioner has that benefited you in your professional life and your personal life 
definitely yes ma'am because as i said that i was looking for something which is a flexible working hours no, even now ma'am after this is my third year into image consulting third of uh, year so even now if i do not want that this month my priority is something is so i am not taking assignments mm-hmm. so that kind of flexibility i have never ever got from my engineering job so professionally it is giving me a kind of sense of fulfillment man that how whenever i want i can even invest 24 hours those are less for my you know fulfilling the dreams mm. so uh, professionally it is yes ma'am uh, and uh, personally uh, let me share with you like most of uh, my daily team knows that i'm a, i'm a patient of reading lego so it's now uh, it had happened after my delivery so uh, when it it happened the first spot came and i was little worried about that i have chosen a profession where you know everybody is so beautiful and you know the glamour the glamour thing however over the period of time now this 3 years has taught me a lot about the self image which we talks about so if i am confident i can portray that confidence to my client as well so uh, personally also the course has helped me a lot evolving as a confident person as a confident trainer or professional and even i got a compliment from one of the skin specialists uh, he said that you know uh, people who have this vitiligo issue they are not even able to uh, you know make an appearance in the public and you are training you are doing you are doing such a good job so he wanted he immediately again ma'am uh, offered me one uh, session to deliver it to the people who are suffering from vitiligo and uh, telling them that it's all about self belief we should be beautiful inside and as we always uh, say that you know image is something which is inside out so that is what is happening with me as well so how about your own self image do you think that these issues can really make a difference to your self image not really ma'am it was like it was for the fraction of second when there is a change it's all about change so when as i told you when it was the first spot i was worried but then it was like you know training and you know giving parting uh, confidence to others that was enhancing my confidence level as well so i do not think that is it and my clients are not treating me that way so ma'am that is also giving me a kind of confidence now you know i can do anything absolutely i think everything is got to do with what do you think about yourself from inside yeah right yeah yeah true ma'am true absolutely great so tell me about some of your interesting client experiences what at least one experience which is like the most memorable and something that you cherish you will cherish life long um uh, ma'am one particular uh, is very difficult to say because all my clients are very uh, special to me and i take all my training session as a as a, something which is a you know kind i a reward for myself but i can share one particular day which i will never forget so uh, it was uh, it was offline session ma'am before this pandemic only uh, i had three sessions in a day and the first session was with an engineering college students and it was in oakland delhi the second session was with an it company which is in noida and third session was with a uh, two siblings one is 8 years one is 13 30 years and uh, that was for dining etiquette that was in gurgaon so it is all delhi ncr but in a single day traveling from delhi to noida to gurgaon was something which was the hard work and uh and one thing which was like you know in the morning ma'am when i'm conducting a session with youth so i have to wear something wear and look like youthful so that i can make a connect with them in the afternoon it is altogether changed now i'm a corporate trainer and i have to look like a very serious and sincere and very disciplined trainer very professional and by the end of the day 7 o'clock ma'am i'm reaching gurgaon and i have to you know wake up that kid in, inside me oh my god now this is like 18 13 years and i have to make a connect with them so it was very interesting ma'am and i will never forget that day it was like giving me a sense of fulfillment fantastic so that also gives you a lot of learning i mean suddenly you have a role reversal and you need to you know i mean be absolutely prepared for it right 
yes yes ma'am okay great so tell me uh, as an image consultant we are all expected to be absolutely disciplined in our life and you know uh, things have to be falling in place perfectly although we may not be absolutely perfect in our lives but in terms of schedule you know having a schedule i think this is something which is very very important to strike a balance in our lives so what do you think uh, personally speaking for you richa i mean how important is having a schedule to maintain a work life balance and how do you strike a work life balance in your life uh ma'am when when all of us say that work life balance i feel that a balance is created when we are putting a equal amount of time energy and interest in all the roles which we are playing so may it may may it a role of a mother or probably a daughter daughter in law or probably your like your work your profession hmm. you need to put a equal amount of time energy and interest then only we balance this life and uh, as an as i am an instrumentation engineer ma'am and i can see that we can't measure anything until unless we have some references so i believe that this making schedule for a day or probably month or a year it is something which gives me reference to measure that where i am am i putting equal uh, time or efforts to all my roles or it's just that i am only concentrating on my work so uh, this is how uh, ma'am i believe that it, it's not only a much consultant but i believe that every women should do that every ma- women should have that schedule to check whether they are fulfilling all the roles equally and with uh, all that interest so do you so live in a joint family uh, ma'am i live uh, we live with my pa- uh, my husband's grandparents oh so uh, yeah so i live with grandparents in law okay and how do you balance the whole thing i mean doing your work and managing them also i'm i'm expecting that they must be like really old elderly people so how do you yes. manage looking yes. after them looking after your child and then working at home as well as working for your profession how are you juggling and how are you balancing everything all together ma'am good thing is that uh, my uh, husband's grandparents they both are like you know very cooperative so uh, that uh, you know that expectation of being daughter in law is not very very difficult here so they 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 treat me as a daughter so it's at times i feel that you know i am not paying that attention to them they are like you know they are good they are healthy and uh, um, so it's a kind of support again i believe ma'am that uh, what the, if they are there i have some inspiration to you know to look, look up to so this is how ma'am uh, that that's the uh, that's the source of energy you can say for me absolutely i totally agree with you because uh, i mean to whatever extent people agree or disagree but i strongly believe that having a support in the house is very very important because that is not just a support for the family it's a very strong emotional support that you get yes. a lot of positive energy comes out of that yes to add on to this ma'am uh, i was recently conducting a confidence building workshop wherein i mentioned this specifically that you know we believe that uh, we can get the confidence if we have we are knowledgeable or we are practicing we have experience but this emotional support in the family is also very much important to make yourself confident so uh, that is there it it gives a lot of energy positive energy and vibes to work absolutely so richa tell me has there been any moment of regret when you realized that it was better off being in a 9 to 5 job than being your own boss because it carries a lot of responsibility and a lot of headache of you know i mean getting up early and doing a lot of work and 9 to 5 job is something which is simple by the end of the month you get your salary in your hand and irrespective of the fact the responsibility or the onus lies on you or it doesn't lie on you but then you are taking care of yourself by being financially independent so does that really come in your mind sometimes that you should have been a better off person had you been an employee or you are happy in the current space that you are in 
Ma'am, I have no regret choosing this career because I'm uh, quite happy and satisfied whatever I am doing. And uh, yes, ma'am, I would like to mention here that I feel that nine to five was better when I I feel that the twenty four hours are less to fulfill my dreams. So at times it happens, ma'am, that you feel like yeah, din thora sa twenty four hours se bhi zada bada hota to acha hota. So then I pe- I can plan and I can wind up my things. So uh, so uh, it, it it is at that time only. And moreover, ma'am, I feel that you know in nine to five job. we always work for somebody else job uh, goals right so our company has certain goals and we are just aligning our goals for companies where those are not my goals no not we are not owning those goals but when you are an entrepreneur your goals are your own you have to work you know that the more hard work you will put the more work the more uh, time you will put you will get better results so i have no regret choosing that because i am enjoying doing this much hard work as well ma'am great so tell me something uh, i want to ask you this question that what do you see yourself doing had you not been an image consultant and a soft skills trainer would you still be an instrumentation engineer or you would have tried to do something else Ma'am, I was. Uh, I can imagine that I was doing that same nine to five job in instrumentation engineering because uh, when I was exploring uh, the second career option, ma'am, I had this in mind that it should be equally prestigious. You know, you should get that kind of that amount of uh, respect from people like you are uh, getting as when you are working as an engineer. So I might not have shifted my career had I not been uh, got this opportunity. Mm-hmm. so you would have still continued as an engineer by profession yeah 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 and what is your husband's uh, reaction to your uh, profession current profession has he expressed any kind of a uh, regret at some point where he would have said that aap to engineer hi acche the aap kyu image consultant ban gaye and you you should ideally go back to your old profession has there been a woman like that ever No, ma'am, not really. He is so supportive that, ma'am, even you know, if there is an assignment which is one of its kind for the first time, I take his help. So, in in terms of like you know, you you become a a client or a, or a, a participant and you ask questions. So, uh, he also enjoys my journey because he's so supportive as I already uh, shared with you. So, we are enjoying this journey as an image consultant. And how? Uh... individually this profession has been supportive in terms of spending time with your child especially i mean when you have your own child and when you need a family time uh when you need your own uh, space in terms of in your life you know i mean you want to be at your own pace and you know you want to do things on your own a uh, lot of times we have this uh, you know we we are bound to the fact that we are doing a job and we don't realize that you know time really passes by your child grows up and you don't realize you know but i think it's like living your dream and you have your child growing in front of you you select your assignments you work as per your time and pace uh has there been any any scope where you thought that you could have done better in terms of uh, being an image consultant also or you are happy with the pace that you are working with ma'am i'm really happy and satisfied with the pace i'm working with because uh, that is what the reason that when i left my engineering career i wanted a flexibility in working time and that flexibility was because of my child was because of myself i want to give some time to even to myself so uh, as we discussed that you know making a schedule or scheduling your task really helps me so i know that how much i can spare how much time i can spare and accordingly i can uh, select my assignments so which gives me a fulfillment and then ma'am uh, as a trainer you always try to uh, explore new new kind of assignment right so that is also there in my mind that uh, in fact uh, one more thing ma'am that if you are like you know occupied uh, more than what you can do Your quality, you sacrifice on the quality of work. 
so i do not want that man i will take only three assignments per one but i will give uh, you know the kind of quality the kind of satisfaction to my client so and this is how when we, when i have time for uh, like you know for myself my daughter it's a kind of balance which i'm creating now i think that's the most uh, sensible thing to do because if the day image consulting profession becomes like a commercial profession the essence of being an image consultant will get dissolved so that yeah. is why it is always important to give weightage to quality over quantity so that yeah, is yeah. something which yeah. which i completely agree with you that you, know, you do at least keep it in mind that uh, even if you do just two assignments or three assignments in a month but it has to be qualitative assignments not quantitative assignments exactly ma'am exactly i it's totally fair you know being uh, you know in your position that you know i mean you do justice completely to what you are saying and make sure that you know you are happy and satisfied by the end of the day when you see your client you know happy and satisfied so it's yeah. absolutely fair and i think you are on the right track thank so thank you so what's, much what's your vision for the next 5 years what do you see yourself doing in the next 5 years Okay, so there are a lot of plans, ma'am, and the plans are keep on ending in the list. However, uh, the for very first project which I'm going to start now, and I'll try to finish by three to six months. That project is very close to my heart, and that is very much related to my personal life as an engineering uh, field. So uh, that's based on that. I am going to uh, work on that. That is something which is going to enhance again. and has an empower uh, so are you going uh, back like, to the engineering profession no 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 not really ma'am it's it's the training project only so it's a kind of product which i am trying to uh, work on okay all right so then that will shape up in the next 5 years uh ma'am that will be established in the next 5 years i mean uh, i can say that i'll start working from 2021 itself and then i hope that uh, within five, like you know coming 5 years it gets established into the market fantastic so the plans are already there in place right yeah yes ma'am all right so one last question to you that what message would you like to give to those who are exploring a second career and still waiting for the right profession to join in so any message for those people based on your experience and your second career that you've chosen as an image consultant uh ma'am whenever it, it comes to a, a career choice i always believe that made a fresher or made a experience people like you know i change my career we should always explore that the profession which we are going to choose is a need or a want of the uh, in the market so uh, i can say with my experience is these 3 years and ma'am you have like you know so much experience that image consulting is something which is needed by every group of people in this country so it's not only about the age it's also about the profession the industries that everybody needs this image consulting soft skill training so uh, and that is what i thought when i was changing this career and i i did little bit studies about that that uh, how it is going to be how the market is going to treat me so uh, i will uh, advise all the budding image consultants or the one who wants to change the career uh, just see that how image consulting and soft skill is changing or transforming transforming people's life and that is how it becomes a need of uh, the art great so you vouch for uh, you know or you endorse image consulting and soft skills training and you suggest people that they should explore a career in this field right definitely ma'am definitely great so thank you so much uh, richa it was a wonderful con- you know having a conversation with you although we've never interacted at this length ever before and uh, yeah ma'am this was more of a very heart to heart interaction because uh, it was also nice to know you as a person uh stay in touch and let's chat thank you, thank you so uh, much ma'am sometime soon and uh, i would definitely be interested in knowing more about your plans for the next 5 years in detail and i seek your guidance and blessings for that ma'am absolutely absolutely so take care all the very best thank you so thank much you. to all those people who are uh, viewing this live interaction we'll come thank back again so next week and uh, we'll be staying in touch with everybody 
Thank you so much. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, you ma'am.